there's a lot of evidence of rats right up that you get on top of the attic so they are already destroying some there's the exhaust for the bathroom that is already chewed through you can see the holes that are they are using to um, make tunnels for nesting this is the AC unit and it's all full of drop-ins peep and a lot a lot of rat activity here's what it is all this is peep and drop-ins here's one of the nesting areas so they are um, picking some fruit from the trees pecans and some other stuff this one already is all ripped too and this other of the exhaust uh, ducks for the band uh, bathrooms so uh, I'm guessing they are using this this access right here to get in Here is another access point. So they are using this other access point again. Right here are all the drop-ins, the pads. They are going to right there. And also drop-ins in the bottom. Right here. All full of drop-ins. They already take out the plastic on this um, fiber insulation um, duct. This is an area of a heavy activity. So you can see all the evidence of the grease and droppings right here. So this is how they get in. This is on the roof, second floor. See, all the access they have right there. There's a lot of space. Even the evidence of them right there. Here's how the rats are getting in using the bends. This bends on the roof right here. Here we have this other uh, bend in the roof, and we have another right there at the corner very hard to work in that corner this is another access in the first level of the roof so they are climbing through here this may be another um, access point as the AC connecting the um, unit with the house AC access. This is the neighbor side, and uh, mainly they are using this street to get on, on the roof, and then going from the um, dogs access to get inside the house. This this tree needs to be trimmed, but it's not in your property; it's in the neighbor's property. This is another angle of that tree, so that tree is one of the biggest. Um, bridges they are using to climb to the roof and this is another so this i think is in your property and it's actually left in the concrete as well so we need to remove this not absolutely the tree the whole tree but uh, uh, the branches that are over the the house but what happens is they grow too fast so if you just trim them so they will be there again very quickly there's another situation with the house because um, we have access to the attic of the, the top level, but not the bottom one. There's no access for this part of the uh, attic. And I'm pretty sure they say they are hearing the noises in between, so we cannot reach that area, but it's always a way to work. <laughs>